Hi people, welcome to Blue K Jazz Dance. One of the key things I want to expand people's horizons, how many Northern entertainers who contributed to North, South, East and West of the UK, going back in history to my time as a UK jazz dancer, their history has been hidden by the South of England to make sure that we didn't get opportunities for work. Have you got that? I'm reclaiming my legacy as a dancer what happened to me in my heyday, I started dancing to UK Jazz Dance in 1975. Pictures were taken, videos been taken between 75 and 2020. 99.5% of them photographs and video documentation I never got access to. We tried to, I tried to get information. And it's a, something that's happened to the people of the North of England. You have to understand in the entertainment business. Have you got this right? It's important. As an individual, I decided to create a project around reclaiming my own legacy of leadership and that was collecting photographs myself. I've had robberies that just happened, general robbery where my house got robbed, all my archive got taken away, put it its way, I had a number of setbacks, four, five, or six, seven, eight setbacks. Then I had people being deceptive. I worked with individuals in the south of England, promised photographs, didn't get it, did it in the north of England and again, boom. Actually, Western DJs, promoters, I work with them in Revival. They promised me photographs and stopped me. So I can't show you the culture of UK jazz dance. I can't show you my lifestyle. I can't show you my legacy of achievements, benefits, contributions. I can't show you my diversity, my versatility. I can't show you which activities, which clubs I was involved in because this was taken away. So I decided to go to the stage, create my own show do my own activities and make sure it's documented. And this is what you see me doing here today. Part of my Expanding My Horizons, I created my own What's On program. I've created my own project, my own fun day. I'm the first to identify to individuals. This is me and this is my worst time. So imagine my heyday. This is taken in photograph in 19th and 2011 in the first Mixed Movement Festival. And I'm very proud to be involved in it because Basically, Mixed Movement identified key individuals in the UK who have their own style that they wanted to share with the United States. And it was an event that was done with dancers from the United States and the UK sharing their styles and then collaborating with each other using a, a very um, cutting edge technology called telling presence that allows us to be on the same stage at the same time. I'm the face of Mixed Movement. I was a masterclass teacher. I was an individual on the panel. Mixed Movement... I loved contact theatre because contact theatre allowed me to show my independent interdisciplinary skills. Every skill I could use, I used within this project, yeah, from 2011, 2009 to 2017, I've been involved in mixed movement. I was asked to come and share my dance with people around the world. They have something called Contact in the World. I was a leadership consultant for it, a performing arts consultant and coach. They asked me to come and share my dancing, be a representative from Britain. So many things the contact theatre allowed me to do. The commercial industries blocked me of UK jazz, 